Hey everyone, Brian here, your honest mechanic, and today we're tackling a question that's been on a lot of minds lately. Does premium gas really last longer than regular gas? I mean, with gas prices being what they are, we all want to get the most bang for our buck, right? So, let's dive in and get to the bottom of this once and for all. First off, let's talk about what premium gas actually is. Premium gas typically has an octane rating of 91 or higher, while regular gas is usually around 87 octane. Now, octane ratings measure a fuel's ability to resist knocking or pinging during combustion. In simple terms, higher octane gas can withstand more compression before detonating. So does that mean premium gas is always better? Not necessarily. Here's the deal. Most cars on the road today are designed to run just fine on regular gas. In fact, the Federal Trade Commission says that, in most cases, using higher octane gasoline than what your owner's manual recommends will not provide any noticeable benefits. It doesn't improve your car's performance, speed, mileage, or emissions. However, there are some exceptions. Some high-performance cars, like sports cars or luxury vehicles, may require premium gas due to their high-compression engines. These engines are designed to squeeze more power out of every drop of fuel, and so they need the higher octane rating to prevent knocking. If you own one of these cars, using premium gas can definitely improve performance and efficiency. But what about the rest of us? Well, I did some digging and found a really interesting study. They took a Honda CR-V, a Ford F-150, a Dodge Charger, and a BMW M5, a pretty diverse group of vehicles, and ran them each on both regular and premium gas. They measured their performance, fuel efficiency, and even did some good old-fashioned math to see if there were any differences. The results? In most cases, the differences were minimal. The Honda CR-V and Dodge Charger showed no significant changes in performance or fuel economy between regular and premium gas. The Ford F-150 did show some improvements with premium, but not enough to justify the increased cost for most drivers. The BMW M5, being a high-performance vehicle, did show noticeable improvements with premium gas, but that's because it's specifically designed for it. So bottom line, if your car is designed for regular gas, using premium probably won't make it last any longer. It's not going to extend the life of your engine or make your fuel go further. In fact, in some cases, using premium gas in a regular engine can actually be harmful. Higher octane gas burns slower, so if your engine isn't designed for it, it can potentially cause buildup and reduce efficiency over time. Now there are some other factors that can affect fuel efficiency and engine longevity. Things like the quality of the gas you use, how well you maintain your vehicle, and your driving habits all play a role. Using the right grade of oil, keeping your tires properly inflated, and getting regular tune-ups can do a lot more for your car's health than putting premium in the tank. So my advice? Stick with what your owner's manual recommends. If it says regular, use regular. If it says premium, use premium. Don't waste your money on higher octane gas if your car doesn't need it. Instead, focus on good maintenance habits and sensible driving. That's going to do a lot more for your car in the long run. And of course, keep watching Honest Mechanic for more tips and insights. I'm here to give you the straight talk on all things automotive and help you keep your car running its best without breaking the bank. If you found this helpful, hit that like button and subscribe so you never miss an update. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.